I love what you said about the vision anyway. Because, yeah. Because I, I was on a I, on a hike in Utah. Mm -hmm. I was up in the mountains, mm -hmm. and I was overlooking a, a a valley of sunflowers. Yeah. I was like, God, that's beautiful. Yes. And then as I was getting up into the uh, up into the trail, mm -hmm. I was up seven thousand feet, and there was just a, this beaten old worn down trail mm -hmm. I'm going up this mountain and then all of a sudden there's one sunflower just minding its own damn business right there right in the mm -hmm. middle of it and I'm like that's just as beautiful it survived everything it in all intents and purposes that thing should have been smashed the seed should have never germinated and rose up to six foot tall or whatever it was mm -hmm. it's like it survived all the chaos of people walking through people stepped aside and they moved and they went around it they said, you, you you need to be here. Just as much as that valley of, of flowers. And I was like, that's just as beautiful. The struggle that it went through is just as good as the struggle that the, that valley went through. Wow. It might have been the, the low oxygen, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's a great vision. I mean, that, that that's, a, that's a great alteration. Like, I remember I went to Verda. I mean, I mean, I don't know if I'm saying this place right, but it's in Venezuela. It's Merida with an M. Anyways, it's part of the Andes Mountains, mm -hmm. and I went to this peak over there, and you had to go through the uh, what do you call it? The cables, the the cable cars. Gondolas or something? I don't know. They're they're, you know, they're the metal cars. Yeah, they they're on cables, the and you go up the mountain. Right. And we went to this peak, and there's there's a building that they built on just the the peak of this mountain. And they, you could do some some surveillance and walk around and do a little bit of climbing, but it was really just to let people reflect on what the peak is, and it, it was chaotic. Like you're in this peaceful area, it's just a room, but once you step out of the doors, the clouds are there, and it's black, and, and it's snowing, and there's snow on the ground, and when you walk around the peak, you have to walk slowly and there's not a lot of oxygen and you're breathing hard. And I, I found myself like I fell. And they say you gotta watch yourself when you fall and How grab. Old you? Oh, I was like 18, 19. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and then you have to grab what I mean, I grabbed like just the rock, the piece of the mountain, and it cut my hands. Cause the wind is consistently blowing through this rock. And all it is bare is just minerals and, and rock and it was all sharp. And it's like, it's like you, you are in the raw, you are in the raw of nature. And you know, you're talking about lilies in the valleys, we're talking about the depths of the sea. And now we you know we're talking about like mountains where there's nothing, nothing grows. It's just cold, snow, wind, clouds, and black oxygen. <laughs> oh, there's a the cat! <laughs> There's a cat! <laughs> Why? He climbed Mount Everest! Why? He done did it, man! I think he gets jealous. I gotta straighten out the camera. Oh my gosh. It's well, Merida. I'm Merida, Venezuela. So you can look it up and they'll tell you. I was just in Colorado, though, and I was running. I do not know where this all came from in me, mm -hmm. inside of me, that I was in um, Rocky Mountain National Park and I was up 12,000 and it went to. 12,900 feet mm -hmm. and it was probably a mile long hike uh -huh. and I just was going and I was breathing that fresh crisp air and I just started running I was like I want to see how far my body can take me and I ran and ran and ran and I saw the end and the cat's going oh my gosh that cat <laughs> he's like man there you go get down but I was running Running and running and running, and I saw the end. Mm -hmm. And that was my. I, it, I think that a lot of it was mental. Where I'm mm -hmm. like, no, I can make it there. It's just yeah. right there. It's just right there. So I just ran to it, and I got to the end, and then I topped and I jumped up some uh, big boulders, mm -hmm. and I got to the top, and there's this big globe like thing, and it tells you where you're at elevation wise to oh. the rest of the world, basically. Okay. Well, I thought maybe it was like, it was just a globe, and it was like... Oh, dude, I mean, like, I mean, like, but I was like, you could see, it starts to get darker, the atmosphere. Really? Yeah. And there was like, no more peaks. And the dark. earth was flat? 
It was. Ladies and gentlemen, we're discovering things here. The Earth was flat. No. But I can anyway. see. I took a panoramic picture. Oh wow! And I put it. I put it on my Facebook, mm -hmm. and it's like you could see where it starts to get darker, darker up. And then in the stratosphere, out. yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Ain't that crazy? And my heart, was, I mean, honestly, my heart was pounding, yeah. but I made it. I was like, I just ran probably a half a mile yeah. as fast as I could, like just running on this trail, and it's going up, 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 up. And I just was in awe, you know. And I, I took a picture, and then I got down to my car, and there was no signal. There's nothing. It was yeah, like yeah. dead. And. uh Kids would die of boredom, you know. I, I just, it was so awesome. I loved it. There's just so much beauty out in this world. That's all I'm trying to I say. Know, yeah, yeah, and I, I feel you, man. And it's just, you, you get caught up in, like, your job and um, it, you, just life itself. But then when you take these trips and you escape into what nature is, it's like, whoa, man. Oh. Your top 27 places that you want to go visit. Top 20 places? 27 places. 27? That's a lot, dude. We gotta save that for a Well, let's show. narrow it down to two. What's uh, the two places you'd like to go to? No, we gotta put a name to it. We can't just say top two places because th that's pretty. How about top two places where it would be impossible for me to be at? Let oh, Okay, one, ultimate dream location. Okay. Second. But we're talking about where I second am. Second place would be it's impossible for you to get to. Okay, I'll take the second one first. A, a, a place that I think is impossible for me to get into is Mount Everest. And I, and I saw this meme the other day. It was so messed up. It was every single corpse in Mount Everest was a very driven individual. Yeah. Think about that. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. But they're also a little weird. I mean, they're very obsessive compulsive. No, they're, and they're Markers now. They're mark. Yeah, now they're markers, and it's like, but this was a meme to represent people who are lazy and don't want to do anything with their lives. And I, I mean, I see where they're coming from, but I don't. I rather be. I, I would rather be a corpse in the Everest than be a person who this meme was trying to defend. I, I'm just saying it was kind of extreme, but. Uh, but but part of the be, reason why I don't like memes. You you're bored. You got nothing. Well, you know what he you is. Got... He's still here. He still wants to be yeah, up here. Yeah, he wants to be up there. And there's a young blood coming up, nipping at his heels. Yeah. So, of course, he has to be still be the silverback. He has to try and attack yeah. and keep him down. And maybe, and maybe that didn't come out right the way I said it about the old Eminem and how he talks trash about his mom. But I just like the fact that it's making Eminem hungry again. Because Machine Gun Kelly, yeah, he's smart. He made he made some uh, some good moves. I mean, it had some good lyrics. But Eminem, he had to try again. Mm -hmm. He had to yeah. he had to like from his belly bring something up and yeah. be like, from Hey, let me. T I know this. I know about this stuff. This is this is not new. And it almost like he remembered who he was. There was a big lull in Eminem's career where yeah. he just was. <sighs> nobody was talking about Eminem. Yeah. But then so, again. Not only people were talking about Machine Gun Kelly, though, really, were they? Not really. I mean, he had a couple... They kind of both needed this. Yeah. And, you know... Conspiracy theory! There you go. Conspiracy you theory! Go. I'm trying to avoid it. Uh, I mean, you know... You know, Mike Tyson said it best one time. It's like, when you are fighting, and you're boxing, and you're trying to get a fight with somebody, they're not really your enemies. They're your friends. Because in the background, you got to talk to them. you got to kiss their ass a little bit. you got to do this and that and the other thing. Because both of you need this fight. Like, this, this so-called superstars. Like, like this celebrities. Like, we got, we got Nicki Minaj. She's mm -hmm. been in the game for a little bit now. And, and, and she's very successful. And she has a lot of big contracts. She, right. she used to be crazy. You know, all the Pepsi and all this stuff. And now, there's this other girl. The one that... Cardi B. Yeah. She ain't all that. I mean, she she does what she does. No, she she just did have a huge... Uh, she has some few hit songs. Yeah. Right now, but she is the... She might just she's be on a the flash lips. of yeah, she, She's just... She's on the lips of these kids. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like... and it's like They're already forgetting about who... They're already forgetting Nicki about Nicki Minaj. 
and they're now they're calling her a bully that Mickey Minaj she's she's keeping us from from it, 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 I don't know some crazy stuff like it's uh, uh, other artists are now jumping on the wagon saying Mickey Mickey Minaj she will not show up to receive this award if you invite me to show up to this award so she bullies people and she keeps uh, uh, like food from from my kids mouths I'm like dude it, it's so crazy how you can say things like this openly and yet it may be true it may be not I don't know and but Mickey uh, it's Nick she needs it no thank you <laughs> sorry it, it's getting to me it's getting to me <laughs> but dude but Nikki she needs this she needs this more than ever because she needs to be reminded oh Robert. Robert. this is who I was I came into this game talking trash telling people the haters it's always about the haters well eventually you talk about haters so much once you climb up the ladder and you're just so rich you ain't got no haters really machine gun killer he's not dude he's not shut up he, 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 he's all right he ain't, he ain't all that that dude needs to eat a sandwich He's really Whoa. He, 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 he really, when he eats breakfast, he needs a protein shake. When he eats lunch, he needs a protein shake. Uh, when he eats dinner, he needs a protein shake because he, he's just too small. You know, I, I mean, that, that kid, he's like this skinny. Mm -hmm. And Eminem, you know, he's probably got a couple pounds on him. But Eminem works out now, you know. He's drug free. and He's bored. Attention <laughs> <laughs> to that lady. Why not? <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. That was a that was a nasal burp. You let it out through your nose. Oh, that's awesome. What kind of burps are there? How many different kinds of burps <laughs> can you think of? I don't know. I like, the I silent like, one. There's a... That's the ones I do at work. <clears throat> Those hurt. <clears throat> right in everybody's face. It's like <clears throat> Gosh. What? It's so crazy when you're in your cubicle at work. And then you pick up the phone and it's one of your friends or family members or something. And then you forget that you're at work for a second. You're like, <laughs> so you're like, I'll be talking and talking. You're in my house right now. What are you in my house for? You get what? Don't be asking me questions. Just get what you need to get and get out. You know, and then people are listening to you and they're like, what is really going on? Really? There's nothing going on, man. You just, you're, oh, here we go. There's nothing going on but a singing and a song. And Eddie, he's got it all going on. Come on. <laughs> that was good. I think we're going to get better at this. I think we're going to get 2% better every time we play. <laughs>